Hey, hey, what is up, guys? A quick uh, review, I suppose. Uh, more some thoughts on the Annika Nellis Clinic last night here in Auckland, New Zealand. Um, great night. I mean, honestly, would probably be one of the best clinics I've ever been to. I'm not overly a clinic type um, drum fan, um, but that was just so good just the the whole structure of it i loved how there was just a lot of plain 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 then it was into questions but then it was more plain and i have to give arnica a lot of credit uh for answering the questions in the moment on the fly and being specific luckily there were some really good questions at the clinic you know often you can get a little bit uh, a little bit iffy questions at clinics um because it's very tricky because obviously you know there's a range of abilities and understanding in the crowd and a different level of knowledge of the uh the person right so sometimes people can just ask you know the the dreaded question something like um how did you get started on drums and it's like man we can google that <laughs> please let's utilize the time we've got um smartly but there were some really good questions, like one of them was, I believe, from a younger person from memory, like, uh, you know, how would you structure your practice time, um, you know, sort of into blocks, and that was really interesting. Um, and just the impressive thing, I mean, aside from the mind-blowing plane, which, you know, we, we know with Arnica Nellis is going to be incredible, the ability to answer these questions on the fly with demonstrations um, and answer them so succinctly and concisely in a second language really impressive there's different types of improv you know and we often talk about drums as being a language uh, music as being a language which to me it it's not like a language it, it is a language um, um, but then you know overlay that with actually speaking about the topic in a, a second language very very impressive um, and, you know, sometimes in clinics, um, clinicians, especially when they do it regularly, they can sort of drop into a sort of, uh, almost like a stand-up comedian, like a pre-planned, you know, I'll, I'll sort of turn your question into the answer that I want to talk, and the topic I want to talk about. This was actually just on topic, really, really insightful, uh, funny like really engaging person. Um, there was one really nice moment that stood up for me that that said a lot, where she went to um, hit a crash, and I don't know for some reason it just didn't sound like bonk. I don't know if she hit the felt or, or I don't know. I don't know. She just caught it in a funny way, and it, it didn't sound um, while she's doing this play along, and then she just did it again, like obviously like not in the right place, just out of time, just conk, and then ha, laugh, and then psh, had a beautiful crash. I mean, just real human moments like that, which are just so, you know, it's the kind of thing you would take out of a social media clip, but in person, it's very endearing. It's, and it's, it's just like, oh, that's right. This person's a human. Um, we're all just here having fun um, and um, sharing a love for drumming. It's a really, really cool moment. Um, there were a lot of really interesting topics, uh, especially because we all know Arnica uh, with the with the odd groupings. That's uh, possibly the trademark, um, and she went into depth in that and the approach to that and how she doesn't sort of see things in terms of rudiments as much, more in terms of um, note groupings and from there using stickings, and demonstrated that in a, in a bunch of ways, which was really really interesting especially you know hearing when she'd go into something how she would sort of stick with the subdivision or the note grouping and still can still sort of alternate it between the hands by use of ghost notes and that kind of subdivided and evened out the note placement and it was really impressive the plane overall super uh, probably uh, um again uh, got to be careful how you phrase things because you don't want things to sound like a bit of a diss but um probably a little bit more groovy pocket than i expected i, I expected a lot of technical flair and knowledge and ability but i, I did, wasn't ready for that 
killer, killer pocket. Great shuffle stuff in there. Um, like the feels were just impeccable. Um, just, just really, really top notch plane. Powerful plane too. Like a heap of power. Um, of course, dynamics, but just like the sheer power at points was like, Man, this is absolutely killer. Um, so really, really enjoyed it. Caught up um, today. So this is the day after the clinic. Caught up today with a friend who was helping run the clinic. And because, um, I mean, I think about, from, from being a gigging player, um, I sort of think about the logistics of these things like, I mean, we are down in the middle of the South Pacific. We're, we're in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> I mean, this is, a, this is a hike, getting out here for a clinic. And I was sort of talking to him about, you know, how, how does this work? Like, did she fly straight from Germany? Uh, I, I believe she came from Indonesia, um, which is still a, a long, um, uncomfortable flight. I hate flights. Who's with me? I hate flights. I love being in the destination. I hate the flight. It's horrible damn dry and you're cold and there's people crying and you're trying to sleep but you're sitting you know oh, like this and it's just that's not a nice situation then then there's the pre and post you know that whole train wreck in the airport anyway 1950s dad airport ramp over but um you know hearing hearing from my buddy today about how you know she flew in at, she landed at like 3.30 on the day. We're doing a clinic at 7.30. You've got four hours to sort this out. And uh, from what he said, battled that Auckland traffic, which is no joke. You know, um, sort yourself out at your hotel, uh, try and get some food, set up the drum kit, tune it up. I mean, it's, it's no picnic, um, and I really feel that, you know, I really appreciate that when it comes to clinicians, that, that, that is a, it's a tough gig, um, and then you, and then you just, you know, then you rolled out in front of a full house, sold out, that's another point that I was going to get to, full house, I think they were restricted to a hundred people, um, and people still asking for tickets. And anyway, you you rolled out. You got all the stuff there. You, you're not on your. You're not at home. You're not on your kit. You, you're jet lagged, and and now I'm playing drums at this level. It's like, man. I mean, imagine it. Imagine it, right? The final thing I should say, it, it was sold out, which is uh, really great, and it's just great to support drummers when they do come over. Because it is a hell of a, a trip um, down here, um, and uh, again talking to my friend at the um, from the store, people coming from all around New Zealand. How cool is that? Coming from all around New Zealand to see this drummer, and that's the impact that she's had, and that's the that's how much people want to see this person play. It's it's amazing. It's really really good good to hear it sort of warms my heart to think of uh people traveling i think because i believe it was just a one clinic date in new zealand uh, i believe so and people coming from around the country you know and and hustling trying to get tickets and sold out people not getting in because there's that much interest in the drum clinic absolutely awesome awesome even <laughs> i'm gonna leave you with this uh clip which uh, is just one little bit. I, I don't like to film too much at a concert or a clinic because I, I want to be there, I want to be present, but I, I did want to capture this bit because she mentioned that she was going to work through uh, degrees of swing and sort of thinking about this in terms of subdivision and note groupings and how far, you know, playing a straight groove, then starting to swing it, you know, and then hitting the triplet, you know, that sort of in the cracks sort of, is it swung, is it straight feel? And then to the full triplet swing, and then like a lazy triplet swing, and then we're getting into like quintuplet swing, you know, on the fourth note of the quintuplet, and then like getting really out there. So I'm going to leave you with this uh, clip, uh, which is just 
an example of something that she demonstrated on the fly. No click track, internal click. There was another thing that was a standout. There's going to be so many things here that I, I forget to mention. Um, another thing that was a standout was her counting. When she would demonstrate, you know, mods or polyrhythms and she would, you know, play both sides of the polyrhythm while keeping this count or, or voicing different parts of the polyrhythm on different parts of the kit or accenting different parts of the of the groupings while counting out loud on a mic very very impressive incredible headroom incredible player um oh actually one other thing before we get to this video which is going to bend your mind uh great to see so many uh drummer friends last night i mean it's just it's just a wonderful community so supportive and just uh great hangs and uh it got us all buzzed we're all messaging each other today, uh, myself and a whole bunch of drummer friends and, you know, teachers and, and great players around town. And we're all, and we're buzzing about the clinic. And that is ultimately what you want. I mean, in terms of takeaways from nights like that, the biggest thing for me is I, I just cannot believe a human being can just sit up there and play drums like that. That's the first thing for me. And then it's just like, man, motivating, inspiring. And uh, for that, thank you, Annika Noas. But anyway, here's this uh, awesome uh, clip of Straight to Swung and everything in between. Um, hope you dig it. And if you do get a chance to see Annika live, go and do it. You will not regret it. All right, take it easy. Ciao.